I have another camp light I want to share with you today. This time it is the Lucy Pro Outdoor 2.0 Solar Recharged Area Light and Power Bank. If you're interested, keep watching. All right, before I begin, I just want to thank InSport Fashions of Canada for sending this light to me so that I could share it with you. And just quickly, I didn't request this light. It was actually offered to me by InSport Fashions. They did send me, send me another product, which I'll review separately, which is something I was interested in. So this was sent as a bit of an addition. But now that I have it, you know what? I like it. All right, so what we'll do is we'll go down to the tabletop, as always, and I'll go over its key features. I'll go over its physical specifications as well as its performance specifications. And of course, we'll go outside and do some testing. Just before we take a closer look at the Lucy Pro Outdoor 2.0, I want to show you what else it came with. So this is the box the light came in. All the information you need to know about the light is on the outside of the box somewhere. The only other thing that came with is this USB cable with the two identical ends. I'll explain why in a moment. So let's take a closer look at the light and look at some of its key features. So it's obviously of the inflatable style light, which is very common compact and lightweight and easy to store when it's deflated, yet it inflates to a good sized light that provides a large area of uh, lighting. It is solar rechargeable. You can see the solar panel on top, but it is also rechargeable with this cable. Again, I'll speak to that in a moment. It has a non-removable 2000 milliamp hour lithium ion battery and that also acts as a power bank. It does have a strap with a two position adjustment and it can be separated at this point so if you wanted to put it over a guide line or ridge line under a tarp you can do that. One of the nice things I've discovered about this light is that you can use the light while it is still charging. A lot of lights you can't, but this one can still be used while it's recharging. So if you had another power bank to keep this light going, you could do that. The last thing I want to mention is that the model I have has the clear sides, but there is another model with translucent sides. The difference being that the translucent side at one will give you more of a glow as, a, as opposed to the brightness uh, that this light will. Okay, let's go over some specifications for the light. So the total weight of this light comes in at 6.3 ounces or 176 grams. Inflated as it is right now, it is four and a quarter inches high or 10.5 centimeters. And if it's deflated, it comes in at one and a half inches or three and a half centimeters. So quite compact. The diameter is exactly five inches or 12.8 centimeters. It has an IP67 waterproof rating and I looked that up just to see what it was which is to say that it can be immersed underwater to one meter for 30 minutes before it uh, was no longer rated against uh, water or for waterproofness. It can withstand 150 pounds pressure on top of that and I found that quite interesting so with it and at under 150 pounds you should not be able to break this life that's not to say it can't be punctured but that means if you're accidentally laid something on top of it you shouldn't have to worry about it it uh, bursting open. Now it does have an operating temperature range of 32 degrees Fahrenheit up to uh, 113 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius up to 45 degrees Celsius. All right, let's go over the performance specifications for the Lucy Pro Outdoor 2.0. So it does have three lumen level settings, low, medium, and high, plus a strobe setting. The only in, uh, lumens uh, offered in the information is at at the maximum of 150 lumens. But as far as battery life goes, if you leave it on low, you'll get 50 hours of runtime. On medium, 24 hours of runtime. On high, five hours of runtime. And if you use the strobe, it should last for nine hours. Let's talk about how this is recharged and how it can be used as a power bank. So a minute ago, I showed you the USB cable that came with it, and it is the same on both ends. And that is used right here on the, where the light has its USB port. It is waterproof and has a nice uh, seal to keep it from any water from getting in there. And the cable can be used to charge the light. And if you use the cable, it'll take two to three hours, depending on your power source, of course. It's recharged also by the small uh, solar panel on top. And using the solar panel alone in direct sunlight, it'll take upwards of 14 hours to recharge. So really, uh, before you go camping, you're gonna wanna charge it with your cable 
and then use the solar power just to top it up each day before using it again that night. Now, this also is the port where you can charge other devices from. So you use whatever cable that came with your other device, whether it's your cell phone or another flashlight or, or whatever you want. And that's where you would put it in and it would automatically discharge into the other uh, device. There are two buttons to operate this light. First off, there is the battery status indicator and I'll turn that on and see if it can pick up. There should be four small lights showing between the, the run rate between the two buttons right here. And those will give an indication of your battery level and what how much time you should have remaining on it. And each of the lights will indicate 20% or more of the lighting. And of course, when it is charging, those lights will flash and until they stop flashing and all four are on, which will indicate fully charged. Now, there is an on off button right here and it's just a simple push and the light will come on on. It's going to be a little hard to see. I was trying it at the table and then medium and then high and then it will start to go into the slow strobe. There is no memory so when I press the button again it goes off and goes back to low, medium and high and back to strobe again. All right, haven't gone over the features and the specifications for the Lucy Pro Outdoor 2 area light power bank, whatever you want to call it. There's only one thing left to do, and that's to take it outside and do some testing. All right, I'm doing a little nighttime testing of the Lucy Light Outdoor Pro 2.0. I'm standing about 15 feet away from the camera. I'll turn it on low. Now, I don't know how it's going to show up in the camera until I do the editing, but certainly right around my feet it's uh, it's not bad you know it's it's this is not meant to be a light that you would navigate with but for lighting up the inside of a tent or a picnic table in the light let's take it up to medium a little better and high quite bright now as i mentioned you can use this as a flashlight but i wouldn't use it for a whole lot of navigating you can see i can see around me a little bit anyway and the one last thing is the strobe very slow strobe, but a strobe nonetheless. All right, a few closing thoughts on the Lucy Pro Outdoor 2.0 uh, area light. And I guess, you know, as, as I mentioned, this is not something that I likely would have purchased for myself because my initial thinking was, is that these would be something somewhat fragile and not likely to be um, a whole lot of use at a campsite for fear of damage in them. And I didn't think really that the, uh, solar panel was going to generate enough electricity to keep this charged for long periods of time. But now that I've had it and I have a better understanding of how this works, number one, it is quite solid in when it's inflated as it is right now. It's not likely to be damaged. You can puncture it, but if you're relatively careful, you're not going to do any real damage to this light. And I guess if you did puncture it, it's still going to operate. It's just not going to be able to inflate it, keep its inflation as well as it could. I guess what the, some of the things I really like about it is that it's very compact when it is deflated. It is a very simple operating system. It provides sufficient light for most of the tasks you want to use it for at a campsite. I don't think I mentioned this, but you could use it holding it like this if you need it as a bit of a flashlight. It's not going to have the uh, cast that a lot of flashlights will, but it should be sufficient for you to move around your campsite looking for whatever it is you need to find. And I like that it can be used as a power bank. It's, you can never really have too many power banks around around your campsite. And I like when you can double up your light as your power bank, because uh, especially if you have a cell phone and you want to keep it charged up as an emergency device, which is always a good idea. Or now, I don't know that I would use it for this, but when I'm out uh, filming for videos, it's good to have extra power sources for uh, recharging batteries for the camera, for the uh, uh, microphone and those types of things. So it's just nice to have the extra additional power available to you when you need it. So it's a compact, lightweight, simple to use light that's relatively inexpensive and still quite durable. What else can you say about it? Okay, if you have any questions, please put them in the question section below or the comment section below. If you have any comments, put them in the comment section below. I will be providing all the information on the Lucy Light in the video description as well as where you can purchase it from in Sport Fashions of Canada. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.